Here is a rover that I've built. Um, it's not fully done yet, but it's very close to being done, so I just wanted to make a video kind of explaining it. So it uses uh, rocker bogey suspension with, so it has six wheel drive, uh, three motors on each side, and it uses a set of differential gears inside of it, and that's how it gets the um, differential motion on each side. It has three main components to it. The, this ESP32 module here acts as a host for a web server and this ESP camera connects to that web server as well as my laptop connects to the web server and it can display a live video feed from the rover it allows me to control the rover using the WASD keys as well as to turn on and off the headlights. There are eight headlights on the front. Unfortunately, the code for the headlights doesn't work. I don't know why it's not working, but that's something I'm working on. Now, if I press uh, the W key, you can see wheels go forward, make the wheels go back, and they can turn in either direction. Um, and he has a little pirate hat as well. The rover is named Captain Morgan, after the world famous pirate. Nah, it's named after the alcohol, but works pretty well. There's a driver here for the servo motors for the steering, and three drivers for the DC motors. Each driver can handle two motors, so we have the front set, middle set, rear set. And that's how those electronics work. And the camera is wireless completely. It's not the only wiring it has to the rest of the system is power and ground. Um, and everything is powered off this battery that just kind of friction fits in place. A quick uh, demonstration of driving. Unfortunately, the camera does have an issue where it will freeze up every so often, but it does work mildly well, which is a whole lot better than I was expecting, so that's nice. Let me see if I can do a, do a turn, turn around. I hope it doesn't like hit something. So yeah, so it's it's drivable using the front camera. It's not the best experience, but it does work. Ideally, the best solution would have just been to buy an FPV drone camera and use that, but uh, and use that with a separate screen and all that stuff that they use. But this is certainly a lot more interesting to to do, so that's why I did that using the ESP camera and have it all with that wireless and all that Wi-Fi web server stuff. But it works well enough. And now I'd like to give some final thoughts on the rover. The main thing are the main things are a couple of issues that will be addressed and fixed going forward. 
the suspension is downright rickety uh, at times. Um, a lot of flex and stuff in it. Not ideal. Uh, as it drives, the wheels tend to like drift apart because there's this all this play in it. So I'm going to be redesigning that, fixing that, as well as the headlights. They just don't work. So I will be fixing that. Uh, I need that to work because I want headlights. Um, and, and so there will be another video at some point with the fully finished uh, Rover with headlights working with suspension fixed. And I'm not sure when that'll be, maybe a couple weeks, maybe not, I don't know. But also soon, because this technically does work, I want to make a video explaining why a rocker bogey suspension. What's the benefit of that? What's the point? What are the gears inside it for? Um, how does it work? If there's only one shaft here, one shaft here, what's to stop this from like pivoting forward and rolling around and stuff? So that video will be soon explaining how it all works, why it does what it does and what the benefits are. But in the meantime, um, it's functionally done in that it kind of does basically everything that it is supposed to.